Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning, Pastor Esther here, and we are in week four of our 30 Saturdays through the Bible. Last week, we looked at the story of the flood and Noah, and we saw God's rainbow, his promise to never destroy the earth with water. Today, we are going to see one of God's main character in his bigger story that you and I are partakers of today. And who is that? None other than Abram. Today we are reading from Genesis chapter 12 from verses 1 to 3. And I would encourage you in your free time to just read the full chapter all the way to the end. There are so many beautiful and very interesting stories and um, narratives in the Old Testament that reveal to us more about God, more about his dealings, and this bigger story that began from the fall of man. So come with me as we read Genesis chapter 12 from 1 to 3. So it says, the Lord said to Abram, go out from your land, your relatives, your father's house, to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who treat you with contempt and all the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. Wow, what a promise. So here is Abram minding his business doing life and God calls him out and God calls him out in a big way. God calls him out to move out of his comfort zone, to move out of his family relations at that time. God is asking him to go to a place where he will tell him, can you imagine, you know, in your prayer time and the spirit of the Lord just in, in speaks to you and impresses on you and God is like, hey, I want you to get up and I want you to move. And it's like, where to? And God is like, I will show you. You know, like I feel like for so many of us, <laughs> that would be really out of the norm or in our context in this modern day extreme, who gets up and move without knowing exactly where they're going. But you know, Abram did and he trusted God. And more than that, he obeyed God. He left his uh, bigger relatives and family. He left where he knew. He left where he was comfortable. And he went following God's voice with this promise that God has given us. Um, this one act of obedience goes to set up Abraham as being pivotal to God's fulfillment of this promise that I will make you a great nation, I will bless you, and I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, sorry, I will bless those who bless you, I will curse those who treat you with contempt, and all the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. You know, this latter portion of this blessing, all the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Um, we are experiencing that today. So we see the fulfillment of this blessing in one of two ways. Number one, the descendants of Abraham are the children of Israel, um, are basically Jewish people. And the truth is that so many inventions and conventions that we experience today in the modern world has come forth because of Jewish people, innovations and breakthroughs in all areas of industry, in education, in health, in math, in leadership, in 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 agriculture, in so many ways, um, even in, in things like social media, believe it or not, 
um, this blessing is still on the children of Israel to today. God is faithful. When God gives a promise, he brings it to pass, which is amazing. And when God gives a generational promise, when we are faithful to obey him, he will sustain that promise through our generation. Now, more than these material things that we are experiencing, we have the best blessing that we could ha ever have. And that is in Jesus Christ, who was um, is Jewish and was born from the lineage of Abraham. And how is the whole world blessed through him? Well, through God choosing to come in the form of man through the lineage of Abraham, salvation has been brought to the whole earth. Through Jesus Christ, we can all have eternal life and a, um, fellowship and relationship with the creator of the heavens and the earth. Okay, so what's the big takeaway today as we are going through the Bible? Number one, um, oftentimes God is going to call us out. And when God calls us out, my prayer is that we can be like Abraham and to go into the unknown, just trusting God. The Bible later on in Hebrews chapter 11 heralds Abraham as a great prototype of faith, a man of great faith who, although he didn't see, he believed God and it was accounted for, to him as righteousness. So I want to encourage you, whatever the spirit of the Lord is asking you to do, whatever God is asking you to do in his word, that you would step out and obey and have great faith. Number two, God is a promise keeper. And today we are enjoying God's promise and faithfulness to Abraham. We are enjoying it in the fact that we have salvation through Jesus Christ. And we're enjoying it in all of the material things that have come out of individuals that are Jewish or born from the children of Israel. So I just want to encourage us this Saturday that let's remember that God's goodness and God's faithfulness as we proceed in our life to know that just like God did it for Abraham, as Abraham was obedient, as we are obedient to God's word and his leading, he's going to do it for us. So I hope you have a blessed and wonderful Saturday and remember that God, who kept his promise to Abraham, will surely keep his promise to you through Christ Jesus as we walk and obey him. God bless.